What is going on guys, Tom here, super excited today because today I'm going to show you guys the two tools that we've downloaded in the last video of Helium 10. So um, if you guys were wondering what free product was there that I was showing you guys, it's the Helium 10 Chrome extension that we downloaded and is attached to our Groom, uh, sorry, is attached to our Chrome uh, web browser. So that's it guys, it's, it's a powerful tool, it's very similar to Jungle Scouts. Chrome extension and very similar uh, data available, but it has some more stuff that I wanted to show you guys. And best of all, guys, it is absolutely free. So if you want a free product research tool um, that is absolutely free for thousand searches, you can do on it before you actually have to subscribe. Here it is, guys, Helium 10 Chrome extension. Now, I, I wanted to quickly log into the main uh, Helium 10 page to show you guys some of the tools. Uh, we will go through this in the next video. Uh, I'm going to go through each one of these to see why each one is important and why you should be subscribing to the full version. But nonetheless, if you're starting out, if your business and you on Amazon and funds are tight, Chrome extension is the way to go because it is absolutely free. So uh, let's take a look quickly. All right, so we have a few tools here. You got different things like scribbles, Frankenstein keyword processor. You got listing optimizers. So basically, like it's also for your launch. You got uh, inventory protector. Um, so this is the coupon abuse prevention portion of them. Refund genie, uh, genie black box, which is the product research tool of Helium 10. You got trend setters to find trends happening in the products. Cerebro, which is actually named after X-Men's um, Cerebro, uh, which is basically that, like it spies on your competitors and looks for their ASIN number. So these are some of the tools that um, Helium 10 has and if they've added actually a keyword tracker and also an alert system for your full Amazon FBA product launch. Now. Today, what I wanted to go over is a little bit more in detail of what the Chrome extension, the free version has for you guys and what you can use it for. So let's go through a page. So I'm just going to go back because I want you guys to know where exa what I exactly did. So I'm going to go to uh, Amazon.com. OK, we're just going to go to the main page. And then we're going to search for a product. Now, one of the products that we were searching was a cell phone case. So we can use the same product here. Let's do that. Cell phone case. All right. Or better yet, let's get a little more um, targeted. So let's do iPhone 8 cases. All right. So maybe do 11 because that just came out. iPhone 11 is out, as you guys know, which doesn't look much different from the rest, but it has uh, an additional camera. So these are some of the cases available for iPhone 11. All right. So we're going to give this a second. I just want to make sure right here is the Chrome extension of Helium 10 that is attached. I'm just going to reset it so that it starts again. It gives you guys the two tools that is available with uh, uh, with Helium 10's Chrome extension are basically the X-Ray and the ASIN Grabber. So you can find the ASIN Grabber. But today I wanted to go through the X-Ray Amazon product research tool. OK. So just give it a second. It is going to load. I know it takes a little bit of time. I don't know why, what it is. There it is. Okay. So, all right. So what I have done is basically I've searched for cell phone cases. Now, one thing that you will notice if you give it a few more minutes is that there is certain data loading. So what it's doing in the background, the Chrome extension is actually loading up some important information about the product, right? So you don't have to look for it deeper. So you, as you guys will see, it's a lot like if you've used YouTube Tube Buddy, uh, when you go to YouTube videos, it shows you certain analytics at certain spaces. So this way you don't have to actually go deeper, but it actually gives you uh, a little bit of information up front, which is great actually. So, all right, so, all right, so let's take a look at this. All right, it's still taking a little bit of time to load. It shows you the ASIN, right? Um, it shows you the category, what number this product is listed as in the category of cell phones and accessories. So you'll see that there are a lot of uh, numbers here, 7,600 products in that category. That's its ranking. Um, in cell phones and basic cases, it's at 2,000, which is, and the best thing is this, guys. It will tell you if it is actually sold by an Amazon FBA seller. So it, that's the tag right here. 
and it will tell you how many sellers are in that specific niche market or in that area so it tells you that there is one seller right here so in this category whatever the differences are maybe it's a colored one whatever there's only one seller that's selling this type of cell phone case and in this one look at this guys like it has four sellers right so you'll see how important it becomes because it shows you what niches to get into where competition is low and that's very important especially when you're starting out on Amazon FBA because you want your first product to hit a home run for many reasons first you don't want to get demotivated right you want to make money right off the bat it's great a lot of people tend to fail just because they're learning but if you follow the videos I'm showing you guys and you follow the advice to the teeth you guys are bound to succeed so keep that in mind I have a lot of videos on product research product research is one of my main things it's one of the most important things and I focus a lot on it guys for you okay so just like the rest of these ones like it will pop up the data right here so you'll see that um, look at this one seller here two sellers here uh, you can actually um, let me see what this will do for you guys so okay so this will show you guys like a little synopsis of like what data is available the uh, size of the product and stuff just a listing like a quick overview of the listing but we are gonna go into one of these listings and take a look at the data the other thing I wanted to show you guys first is if you go here right we are on the product page so this is page one of the category that we searched which was iPhone 11 uh, iPhone 11 uh, phone case right and if you click on x-ray right okay let it load up now it's very similar to jungle scouts chrome extension it loads very important information for you guys it's the back-end information that you need to know uh, when you're trying to do your product research all right so there it is guys so you'll see that how some of the data is already loaded so you start with an ASIN number right the brand is basically the seller who is selling this product so you can kind of tell if it's somebody who is like an established company or it's an Amazon FBA seller which we already have a tag for so we'll see who that is what category it's selling right if it's an FBA seller or not so wherever you see FBA that's an Amazon FBA seller just like you guys what the price of the product is right so there you'll see that this product is pretty much ranging about twelve dollars on average which we will see right here this is one of the key important fields guys amazon fba fees we always wonder how much it will cost for our product with amazon fba fees which includes basically your pick pack ship uh returns customer service that Amazon provides once your product is at the inventory and all those things right so it's good to know that how much of your profit that uh, Amazon FBA fee is gonna take right so for this product our average fee is about $15 $14.88 we know where we have to be with pricing in order to be competitive so normally I like to do a dollar or two below but this is not really the product I want to get into this is just an example because the products I always want to sell I want to make sure my price is at least twenty dollars and there's a reason for that guys you have to consider your shipping costs your manufacturing costs uh, your inventory fees and your FBA fees which are two different things and all that can take up to fifty percent or ten dollars of your cost when I'm selling a product at twenty that stuff takes ten dollars per unit I know I have a 50% or a $10 profit margin which will allow me to actually make money anything less than that I tend not to get into guys I mean you guys are gonna see any a lot of products that you be passionate about and you really want to sell but because of the profit margin don't do it guys don't get emotional about products think of it purely as a business analyze your stats and numbers can tell you stories guys okay so FBA fees like these ones I don't know why they're zero so we got to look into I think it's a sponsored ad so that's why the sponsored products sales how many units is selling you can see there what the revenue is this is beautiful guys so it'll tell you what the revenue is okay so and then the BSR ranking this actually uh, tells you as well which is actually important um, what the rating of this product is how many review counts there are total number of reviews you'll see guys that these guys are really low reviews and they're doing amazing numbers so this tells you that there is a lot of potential in this market now given that we don't have too many sellers in here we can actually uh, get into this product 
dimensions, weight, that's not really like what I'm looking for right now. I just want to look for profitability, right? So average price, we know it's right here. Um, average revenue, so you're making about $6,000 a month with this product, which means that um, 3,000 of it should be pure profit on this product. So imagine guys, if you're selling this product, you are making $3,000 a month on this product and the number of reviews are really low. The highest one that I'm seeing is seven guys, it's insane. So let's take uh, some of the lower ones. You see guys like 10, 10 is the most time. Okay, one guy has 222 reviews. Let's take a look at his revenue because he should have a good revenue. So it hasn't loaded yet, but he should have a good revenue um with 222 reviews right so 105 okay this guy has 402 but on average you see guys how these these guys are doing amazing numbers like they are selling good money let me show you guys some of this like you don't want to get into anything below 5,000 it's not worth my time I never look anything below 5,000 for a product now um, because for the very obvious reason that half of that is your cost right so this is good nine thousand dollars which i know i'm gonna make four and a half um four and a half and fba fees are about five dollars which leaves good amount of margin for your inventory costs and manufacturing costs and all that so you're still making about seven dollars a unit uh for this product which is the 50 percent i was telling you guys about so that's why it's so important to analyze the data and see the market you want to get into why you should if you should get into it or not based on these numbers now based on the reviews i know i want to get into the market but based on the value that i have to sell this and i know it can be cell phone cases can be a very competitive market i do not want to get into it and the price is low i want products that are 20 25 dollars because the more um the more expensive your product is a little bit higher uh, the higher chance of your revenue or sorry the higher chance of making profit on that product right because if you order a bulk um, order you can actually bring your manufacturing costs really low so that's what I wanted to show you guys we will look deeper um, into let's take a look actually uh, let's, okay guys let's take a look at one of these products and go into their catalog and see what else they have in there right so okay so I'm just gonna click on one of these products let's take a look at this okay so helium 10 will should load up a bit more data for you guys here but i know it takes a few seconds like you saw with the previous screen so i'm not gonna wait for it right now but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run i'm gonna run an x-ray on this specific product and you guys see once you start going into the listing you will see bunch of other uh bunch of other uh tools from helium 10 that pop up for you guys as a free product you got the profitability calculator you got inventory levels and re review downloader so we are gonna do another video on that because i really want to show you guys what other tools are available with this free chrome extension but for today this is it i wanted to show you guys what you guys can see with the x-ray version so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly do an x-ray uh, on the actual uh, product listing so this is the main listing so let's take a look at the numbers here and if there are so there it is so the price is a bit lower for this category so it just popped up it's about 9.99 the sales is not loading up for this product which uh, makes me wonder what if this could be a hijacker or something like that uh, for this product uh, so we'll have to deviate from this one we're not going to take a look at it like i mean it's, it's bsr is 1105 okay total revenue is zero so we're not going to look at this product at all so see guys like this stuff can really show you guys now i know that this person could be a hijacker that hijacks somebody else's listing so very important for you guys to know these things that when you're looking at competition you're looking at the right numbers so let's take a look at another one just to make sure this product is available now what i wanted to show you oh yeah there it is so see how this chart appears you all of a sudden you have like um 
visibility on different kind of stuff. So you see the revenue calculator, it pops up this calculator for you guys. It tells you that you're gonna, uh, with FBA, the revenue is gonna be $8.62 for this product. Now it gives you the ASIN number, it gives you the dimensions, a bunch of other information that we're gonna go through in the next video. And I wanna show you guys the profitability calculator, you see inventory levels and all these things, the keywords and everything, which is another important thing. If you're spying on your competition, you need to know what keywords they're using to uh, SEO, basically search engine, optimize their listing so they appear on page one. That's it guys for tonight. We will look at Helium 10, a deeper look into the other tools that are provided to us for free. And we're also going to do another video. We're going to talk about uh, the additional tools that the full version of Helium 10 has. On the next video, right? Before I get into the details of uh, the Chrome extension and other things, I want to quickly show you guys something in my next video. I want to show you guys a tool that a lot of big businesses use. It's a tool that I use when I'm trying to find my product and I don't try to spy on FBA sellers much anymore because I know a lot of these guys are just getting into the game. Once you start getting bigger, you have to start thinking bigger and it's a tool that tells me all these actual businesses in the world or in United States or Canada, let's say, what kind of products they're bringing in and based on the volume they bring in, um, I can get who their carrier is, I can get who the broker is. So you can get all kinds of competitive information with that. And I'm going to show you guys on the next video and then we'll jump back to Helium 10 after that. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. But before we go, remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and drop in the comments below if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you.